what's the um, after those first two games? Talk about the focus and how it kind of changes things. I mean, coach talked about not overlooking those two, and you guys, you didn't. But now this is one of those big games on the schedule. Right. I mean, we've um, been trying to take every game one game at a time. You know, last year we started out zero and three, so it's just us trying to start this year better and and get more wins. Is it hard not to though when you know Florida State's there? I mean, of course it's hard, but at the same time, like I said, we started out 0-3. So it's like, you, you don't want to start that year the same way. And that left a bad taste in our mouth from last year. So it, it made us focus more on each game and be more detailed. What have you seen with their offense, with Francois being the guy at the trigger this year? I mean, he can, um, he can make good passes down the field. He can run. So that, that gives us more to think about as a defense. and have, We have to play a, uh, more players because they have a good running back and they have a quarterback that can run just as good. So it just keeps us on our toes up front. Josh, how much has last year's game come up in conversations just as far as what happened in the third quarter? Um, I mean, the only thing that came up is that we didn't win. You know, we was um, leading at halftime and we didn't finish the job. And that's what we're trying to focus on this year is finishing every game. Keith said that you guys, I don't know if it was just a linebacker group, but the whole defense watched the Dalvin Cook run again on Sunday. Or right. Remember what that was like or how the coaches said that time? Uh, I mean, it was a, a play where we missed a lot of tackles. And you know, it was a great run by him. And um, for us, this year, you know, we just have to all fly to the ball and get him down. The hype around this game is the game day setting up everything out here. I mean, how, how fun is this for you guys? I and mean, this is why you come, come to these programs and play these type of games. I mean, it's, it's fun. It's very exciting for the fans and stuff. But we, we're trying to stay focused because, you know, it's a, it's a tough game. And um, if we get wrapped up in all that, then we're not going to be focused on what we need to be. So it's just about us going out there and competing to the best of our ability. How hard is it to tune all that out? It's very hard because, you know, it's the first time that uh, college game day is here and the city is really excited about it. The school is really excited about it. Um, but for us, we just have to stay focused. For you, how, how hard is it to stay focused on where you have to? I mean, you're moving around so many different places. Mm -hmm. How hard was it to learn what you need to do to be, to be successful out there this year? Uh, I don't think it was that hard because we have great coaches that um, did a good job of breaking it down to me and um, making it a lot easier. And um, I've been in this defense a couple of years now, so it's it's really just knowing where to line up, basically. Josh, how do you think it'll affect you guys to have uh, D out the first half? Um, D, he, he's a great player, and I know he can play a lot of positions, but we also have, like, um, Cannon, Zach Cannon, he can play both safeties. Chuck can play both safeties. So I just feel like um, with the depth that we have, we'll, we won't miss too much. But um, as good as he is, we need him out there. What, uh, what did you, how did you reflect on your performance against Florida State last year, your individual? Uh, me personally, I didn't think I played um, that well. And that's for me to um, correct this year and try to have, go out there and try to have a better game. Coach said he thought, Coach Petrino said he thought that the game last year kind of hurt your all's pride a little bit. Uh, I guess maybe motivated you guys to turn around and close pretty strong for the rest of the year. Do you agree with that assessment? Yeah, because I feel like we was that close to winning it. You know, the year before we was up at halftime, last year we was up at halftime. So it's really just about us finishing the whole game and playing the second half just how we came out the first half. That one Dalvin run, how much, uh, how many times did you all see it on the Sports Center the next week or, you know, whatever? Just, I mean, how many times did, and what was that like? And it got replayed a bunch of times. I mean, it's, it was crazy because it was, it was a bad play for us. But, you know, we have to learn from it. And um, we've seen it a lot across Sports Center and stuff. But that's what happens when players make plays. So it's up to us this year to stop them. All right. Thanks, Josh. Thanks, man.